Hi, I'm Ashwin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about five programming languages to learn in 2022. So in the year 2021, I mean, we have seen many technological advancements, including blockchain technology, virtual reality, and there are many progressions in the progress over web app space. There are many progressions in the way that people use technology. So Facebook has changed its name to Meta. And we have seen many technological advancements in the year 2021. But we are approaching 2022. So the first question that every techie or every student who have just started their programming journey have in their mind is what to learn in 2022 in order to get good opportunities in the, in the future. So in this video, I will talk about five programming languages. So according to my analysis and my research that will stood in 2022 and even for the next four to five years. So let's begin the list. The first programming language to learn in 2022 is JavaScript. So if you have seen my previous year's video of top five programming languages, so JavaScript is in the second place and Python is in the first place, but uh, the roles have been changed because of its uh, widespread applications, I can say. So if you can see the TypeScript, which is evolving a lot, like every day we have been witnessing a lot of frameworks in JavaScript, whether it might be a UI frameworks or backend frameworks. So if you can see Angular and React, uh, I mean, the way industries, the way companies are using React and Angular has been growing every single day. So if you can see for UI development, we are highly depending on React.js, AngularJS, Vue.js, and still there are a lot of frameworks I can say. So, and even in the backend, we have Node.js and we have Express.js. We have many, many other uh, JavaScript applications which are built on top of TypeScript. So JavaScript, it undoubtedly, it's spreading across every single application, whether it might be web application, whether it might be, uh, it is also into gaming space now. It can also be used to develop blockchain applications now. So blockchain is everywhere. It is also into gaming now. And if you can see JSON is something which we use to transfer data. So it has completely replaced the XML and JSON is also a JavaScript product. So JavaScript is undoubtedly the top programming language. So if you want more opportunities, whether you might want to become a full stack developer or, or a UI developer, whatever it might be. So JavaScript is undoubtedly the top programming language in the world at this moment. And the second programming language is Python. So Python is undoubtedly one of the top programming languages to learn. So as a beginner, Python is also easy to learn. It has vast applications. So it is diversified. It is everywhere, whether it might be a web development, we use Flask and Django for building backend web applications. So also it is a top priority language for machine learning, data science, data analytics, everywhere we are using that. It is also used in testing. It is also used in game development. It is. It can also be used to build Android apps too. So there are various various things that we can do with Python. So whether as the demand for data keeps increasing, the demand for Python will also keeps increasing. So Python is one such programming language. So if you want good opportunities in your career, if you're someone who loves playing with data, who loves machine learning, data analytics, data science, then ultimately uh, Python should be your favorite programming language. And the third programming language to learn in 2022 is Java. So there is no doubt that Java is the third programming language in my list because Java is always evergreen. So if you can see still there are various companies, there are many companies, many top giants which are still using Java for the development and whether it might be for QA, whether it might be for full stack development. So Java is everywhere. So the main purpose is the increased demand of Android apps. So we all, uh, I mean, we all regularly use Android apps, you know, daily life than the web apps. So the main, uh, one of the main programming language to build an Android app is Java again. So Java is undoubtedly, Java Java is there to uh, last long. So Java is undoubtedly one of the top uh, programming language, even for competitive programming, even for placements, most of the students prefer Java or other programming languages. So Java is my third programming language to learn in 2022. And the fourth programming language, it is quite surprising, but it is Dart. So Dart is a Google owned programming language. So it is mainly used to build progressive web apps, or I can say hybrid apps. So it is mainly used to build progressive web apps. So if you do, don't know what actually progressive web app is, so it, it was like, if, if you see modern day applications, all the modern day applications are 
I can say built same in web as well as Android. If you can see Facebook app, you can, you can use Facebook Lite in your Android device. And if you can see there are many apps, whether it might be Uber, whether it might be uh, online booking services, whether it might be LinkedIn, whether it might be a WhatsApp web or I can say WhatsApp, I can say. So there are many applications that we use regularly. So all those are progressive web apps. So progressive web apps simply mean in hybrid app. So which means developers write code for one time and they, they use only one build to create both web as well as Android apps or I can say iOS apps. So say with a single build, you can use both the apps. So it is how it works. If you if you are using Android app, whether it might be LinkedIn or Facebook. So actually you're using uh, same version which can be available on browser too. So it was like write one code and use it for multiple purposes for web app, for desktop app, for Android app, for iOS app. It is what progressive web app is. So mainly uh, you can say you can see uh, a flutter development these days so flutter development will be done mostly using dart so dart is one such programming language which is gaining its popularity and most of the current day apps most of the current day startups are using dart to build a progressive web app and the last programming language in my list is solidity you might wonder if i say solidity in the top five but yes it is the future of course it is not currently the top programming language but definitely it will be the top programming language so if you don't know what Solidity is, Solidity is a blockchain programming language which is used to write smart contracts. So smart contracts are, I can say, smart contracts are written on Ethereum. So smart contracts is like an agreement between both parties. If the agreement between both parties can be automated, then it is called smart contract. A smart contract can be executed if an action performs. So it was like a complete automation of blockchain development. So if you want to know more about what is smart contracts and what is block, uh, what is blockchain, you can find one of my video which I explained everything uh, in detail. So if you send money to someone and someone receives money from your end, there will be there will be an intermediary consumes your contract. Your contract in the sense, if something is executed, that is a contract. So if you are buying a land from a seller, then it is a contract. You need an intermediary to register all these details. It is called a contract in general. So what actually is smart contract? If you performs a transaction in blockchain with your, I can say, with the receiver, then automatically a smart contract will be created. So what actually is smart contract? Smart contract is a program. So it is something like if a transaction is happened, a smart a contract should be automatically created. It is called smart contract. Once a smart contract created, which means the execution of the deal was closed. So, and the execution is successful. It is the meaning of a smart contract. Smart contracts are created automatically and digitally, and they will be, they will come with a unique signature. So these are all the top five programming languages in my view. So I have taken this list from, uh, by considering many factors, whether it might be uh, the demand in the current market and the future prospects of many programming languages and how the top technology games are using technology. So I have considered all these factors to create my list. So if you want to start your programming journey and if you want a better career in a programming side, then ultimately choose one of these programming languages and master that. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video and you found it insightful, please share this video in your network. Also, if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.